But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, one of my truly oldest buddies in the business. That's true. And yes, that is actually true. And Maurice LaMarche, by the way, you know I'm better as the brain. You know I'm better as many things. And one of my favorite things was uh, uh, the movie where you played Marlon Brando. Oh, uh, you mean Zootopia? It, it was Zootopia. Yeah. And uh, that was... Yeah, that was fun. And, and um, you know, the brain is loosely based on well, it's two it, people. It's based on, on Tom Minton, who was a writer... And his partner, Eddie Fitzgerald, they're both writers at uh, first Hanna-Barbera and then Warner Brothers. Well, that's true. And, the look. And, and the look. And I had no idea that's who they based the, the character, the sketch of the character on. They yeah. just basically made them mice. And so, but having never met Tom, I just saw Orson Welles in that face. Yes. The jowly cheeks, the dour expression. Yes, yes. And I just saw, Tom Pinky, back to the lab. We must plan for tomorrow night where we'll do the same thing we do every night. Try to take over the world. You know, but I, you know, you know this because you were, you oh, were yeah. there that, that I got, I got doing Orson Welles because uh, yeah. Phil Proctor uh, and then later Neil Ross uh, gave me copies of outtakes of Orson Welles doing the Frozen oh, Peace yes. commercial and the, and oh. the Palm Sun wine commercial. And they had them on video too. They, they had were, the video yeah, yeah. And so, I mean, I got a hold of this, <laughs> all this great stuff was Welles being himself, which to me was even more fascinating oh, than the characters. Oh my created. God. And at, at the time, folks, I don't know if you would remember this, but he was uh, Gallo, Gallo wine? Paul Masson. Paul Masson. Paul Masson. Vintage <laughs> dated and fermented in the bottle and like the best champagne. And you know, he's, he's, yeah, it's, kind, it's, of, he's kind of out of it in the shot. Yes. You know, of, of you know, one or two take two. Ah, the French. Yeah. <laughs> Champagne has long been celebrated for its excellence. There is a California champagne inspired by that same excellence, and like the best champagne, is vintage dated, fermented <laughs> in the bottle, and cut. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's tone perfect. Uh, yeah. That is note perfect. So funny. Oh, we, God. I remember watching that with you when we were doing oh, Animaniacs. God. Yes. At, um, at Soundcastle. Soundcastle Studios. Yes. yes. And uh, and then oh following in the ne the next cut on the tape was William Shatner doing uh, "She Packed My Bags" last night pre-flight zero hour nine a.m. I'm gonna be high as a kite by then uh -huh. and a Rocket Man talk singing Rocket Man. And oh. I think I, we were both on the floor, literally we yeah. sunk to the floor out of our chairs oh, laughing. Oh, uh, yes. And, and then outtakes. they kept cutting back and forth to, uh, if you remember, the, I guess, it, what, what was that, the, the Grammys or something? But anyway, they kept cutting back and forth to Mark Hamill. Yeah. And he was in the audience going. Yeah. It was this 19th. Well, the 70... funny part, the setup was, was great because it was Bernie Taupin. And he comes out and makes the introduction. And he says. Oh, yes, he yes. Says, he says. And now in 1978 at the Science Fiction Film Awards. That was it. My Rocket Man, as interpreted by William Shatner. <laughs> and he just seemed like it was so painful. Oh, for him to I know. It off. And just Shatner, his... you know, you got to give him credit because I'm sure he was like, he went to the directors. I was in New York and I saw this thing called performance art. And I want to do it for Rocket Man. Because yes. I mean, there, there were three Shatners, you know, there was... There was there was uh, you yeah. know Rock It Man the party guy. Oh, there was right. Sullen Rocket Man the one who knows his fate is sealed, and then there's Giant Head Shatner. You know, I don't think this will be a long, long time. Yeah. As though he's fate. You know, as though he's God. No. Oh, God, it, it, those were, and and we always you know we had to when we were doing like Tasmania. Yeah. And any number of the other shows, if someone said any given thing, that set off any any. Orson Wellian yeah. response. We got to hear the whole, the whole thing. thing. I had no, I had no filter. I just knew I just had to get yes. that voice down more and more. I oh, don't know yeah. why. It's almost like I was on a collision course with brain. And, and I Miriam just knew Fre that that, I had to perfect that voice. And Miriam Flynn would say, "All right, this is going to take about <laughs> two or three minutes. I'm just going to sit here. Go ahead, you kids, yeah, talk amongst right. yourselves. Roll it round, and I have no more time. <laughs> yeah. You don't know what I'm up against." It's yes, come to the point now where frozen peas actually means any 
any outtake, any moment of uh, oh, wow. audio verite, people just use the yeah. term frozen peas. Because and the does do the, does the audience know that due to your your proclivity to falling into that at any given moment, was there ever an Animaniacs show based on that? There was. See how I yeah. Was that was. subtle enough? In season uh, in season one, actually, they they yes. just decided they thought it might you know kind of scratch the itch for me. So they built an entire uh, yes. episode where brain goes in. It's called Yes Always. Yes, brain that's right. goes in, t- and it's just like a, it's like a peek behind the curtain. And now we show you how the recording process. Uh, brain will record a frozen peas commercial, and we go yes. in, and, and then and then there's brain up there on the on the thing on on a stool. Yeah, and he does. We know a remote farm in Lincolnshire, where Mrs. Buckley lives. Every July, peas grow there. Do you really mean that? And then Pinkies, no, Andrea Romano. Andrea Romano played playing herself. herself. Goes, uh, yes. Brain, could you? And Harry. And Harry, our dear, Harry our dear departed Harry Andronis, God our bless. real life engineer. Yeah. And they drew them as they as they looked in life and caricatures. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, as she came in and directed me and said, could you do it in July? Why? That doesn't make any sense. Which Sorry. Is- Right There's no known outtake. way of saying an English sentence in which you begin a sentence with in and emphasize it. Get me a jury and show me how you can say in July and I'll make cheese for you. We, yeah. clean, we cleaned it up. <laughs> yeah, yes. Because in the original cheese, <laughs> that and the was original not... thing, you can, 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 is this a... Sure, I think we not can get away with that. Yeah, yeah. Was, in, in the original, the true uh, Orson <laughs> outtake, he goes... Uh, show me how you can say in July and I'll go down on you. Yeah, it's so, just so, idiotic. If, but if don't tell me saying So, yeah. Yeah, so um, oh God, yeah, unbelievable. That was just the best. But those were fun times, man. I mean, so yeah, it was it was you know now we're so controlled. We're all doing it from our home studios, and yeah, you know, uh, there's so many protocols in place. Full casts aren't assembling yeah. anymore. Um, yeah, last show that I ever did. Um, I, God, I, it's depressing because now I realize it's been years. But the last show I ever did uh, with the full cast was. Uh, Star Wars, Clone Wars. Oh, so you would do full cast recording for that? Yeah. I yeah. just like that. So, don't you? I just like that so much better. You get s- synergy. and you, you, Oh, you, yeah. You just you get a sense of... You feed off each other. Yeah. It's, it's unbelievable. And it's one of the, one of the casualties in our business of, of uh, you know, the, the, the dark time uh, that we don't get to do that. And I'm hoping it'll make its way back. On, I will say that on Futurama, mm. um, which is back on Hulu... Mm. Uh, new episodes drop every Monday night. We managed to. When get is it, Mo? Monday nights on Hulu. We drop a oh. new episode <laughs> of our new season. Um, it's the third time we've come back from the dead. So even Lazarus, we've got him beat. Wow. Um, but we um, uh, we got to the point where we'd have half the cast. They would allow four people in the studio at LA Studios, and. Uh, Billy would be in the main studio, and then three of us would be in a satellite room, but you know, mm. with the sliding doors. Yeah. So we could see each other and work off of each other a bit. Mm-hmm. But um, you know, we used to be in that you know wonderful sort of semicircle horseshoe pattern, and just with all eight of us there, and just eight of us doing fifty-two voices, you know, amongst ourselves. That's so so, uh, and I yeah dearly my favorite way to work. Oh yeah. You know. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Well, you know, it's it's like. Um, you can't play catch with yourself. No, there are other you things know? you can play with yourself. But not That's catch. true. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, and yet you, you've worked enough for Disney that yeah. you know the Disney model, especially the feature model, oh, yeah. is to always have you alone, totally isolated. That's how we did Zootopia. Yeah. And that's how Mr. Big you know, came up. But, yeah. but there's still that synergy because the director's in the room with you and the writer's in the room with you throwing out ideas, uh, you know, and... Like Mr. Big was originally a very sinister character in Zootopia, mm. but as Rich Moore uh, and I worked it out, batted it back and forth, um, he became funnier. You know, we, we must have gone back. Of course, when you've yeah. got five years and so many millions of dollars to work on things like that, you know, yeah. you just we probably yeah. worked on Mr. Big for six months. You know, we just yeah, oh back good. Rich Cha-ching. kept coming in with great ideas, and you know the whole skunk butt rug thing. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, you, make, you gave Grandma Ma a skunk butt rug, a rug made from the butt of a skunk. <laughs> we buried Grandma Ma on that rug. You know, it was like <laughs> oh, that was just all just riffing with, uh, with Rich and and, yeah. and us trying to 
you know, make each other laugh. We'll try to riff. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. But that's the luxury of doing feature film. Oh, amen. And again, you're not you're not alone alone in there because you, yeah. you know, the, the Rich is a wonderful director. He can read in the other characters. Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, mm -hmm. gosh, we've got who's who? who oh, name won't come to me. Hank Sarayan. No face. Face is there. Was Lenny in, Kravitz was in Greece. Was in Greece. Uh, oh, jo not John Travolta. No, no, no. Uh, <laughs> damn. Oh. Oh, he's gonna kill me. Oh. Uh, Blonde hair. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Yes, we're both old. No, no, <laughs> no, no. no. Kelly old. Ward. Kelly Ward. God bless him. Yeah. Sorry, Kelly. I don't know why. I mean, your face was in my it was in my my head the whole time, and the name would not come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> weird. So Kelly Ward is actually one of those people that can read you in, and he does every voice on the show. Mm. We did the, a show called The 7D, which was like a kind of a Jay Wardish take on, on oh, yes. The Seven Dwarves, Tom Ruger, you know, uh, yeah. head honcho on Animaniacs, uh, developed this. And uh, it's The Seven Dwarves 20 years before they meet Snow White. And he would read with oh, me. Oh, that was the premise. Yeah. He would read with me, and he did all other of The Seven Dwarves, including Kevin Michael Richardson's uh, uh, happy character who was just the most ridiculously happy character you've ever met in your life, he could read them all, and you would feel wow. like they were in the room. That's how good Oh, Kelly wow, is. that's that's Good cool. directing is, is just means so much. Yeah, know? oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I work with him all the time. He does uh, the latest iteration of Mickey Mouse Funhouse. Right. I get to and play I'm, Mortimer Mouse every yeah. fifth episode of that. Yeah, he's nice. closest thing there is to a villain. He's not really a villain. He's just yeah. kind of clueless and rude, and then he learns <laughs> his lesson. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, well, Pete's not really a villain either. Well, okay, maybe a little bit. Yeah, but well, you're uh, just cranky. Yeah, he's just cranky. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just pissed all the time, <laughs> continuously pissed. I love it. So that's great, man. So, so uh, let me ask something. Here we are at a comic con. We are as we, we as told, we record this. Can you guys tell where we are by any chance? We're in the world famous Tampa Bay. We are. It's the actual bay. Yes. Yeah, see, we're not kidding around here. As There's in sitting on the dock of the exactly bay. Yes. And, uh, it's beautiful. It's a yeah, lovely, yeah, lovely yeah. Setting. We just we feel like we should just have a cup of tea. Yes, you know? I, I, I agree. Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah, I do. I agree. Yeah, I love these cons though. I mean, yeah. this is you get to meet people who tell you that somehow somehow something you did, yeah, changed their day on a very dark day or maybe many dark days. Mm -hmm. And I can't tell you how many people have told me that they were going to do the dark deed to themselves and. They flipped on an episode of your show, yeah, my show, and the laughter that came from it dispelled the thought, mm. you know, because we, you know, whether we, we, you know, whether it's the endorphins that come from yeah. laughter or just, you know, poof, the thought goes away and you, yeah. you, know, you realize, God, I can't believe I was going to do that to myself, you wow. know, and that's we, the fact that I get to deliver that that shot of endorphin and you do no oh, yeah and he goes even further back with you because Win winnie the yeah. pooh they meet he, they meet winnie the pooh in their babyhood man oh You're in their dna yeah. from from if you ever decided Oof. to turn evil and and start oh feeding yeah the world subliminal be... messages as poo yeah well, it's time for them to rise up we'd be they follow him more readily than they follow the brain yeah <laughs> yes yeah that's true and conquer the world yeah, let's hear let's yeah. hear winnie the pooh take over the world what what's it <laughs> Excuse me, Tigger, but I must take over the world. Oh, but poo, don't be ridiculous. So I don't know, <laughs> but it's, uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's 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 very gratifying because um, I've had so many people um, say that uh, that I have babysat them or or True. gotten them through a lot of tough times. Poo is like a healing balm. I, I will really say is. that you know he he really. Uh, it's a blessing, and uh, the, one of the more touching things is a twin. It was, it was a boy and a girl twin. A set of twins uh, told me that I raised them, and yeah. that I kept them literally off the streets because by the time they got home from school, uh, the Disney afternoon was on, and they would record. Their mom was a nurse, and she couldn't get home till like six, sure. and so she was at work. My and, wife's my wife's mom was a nurse, so I know this story oh, yeah. very well. Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, she she uh, they would set the VCR video tape recorder, video cassette recorder, uh, from three to five every yeah. day. Yeah. And uh, 
you get the three, three thirty, four, four thirty, and then you know they would record the Disney afternoon, those four shows, right? And then they would watch them, and by the time they were done watching them, after they got home from school, mom was home. So I literally kept them off the streets yeah. mm. and kept them safe. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and I thought, really? Yeah. And, and he was actually crying and, and he, he was just so sweet about it. And he goes, and I have to record something for my sister because she's my twin sister and, and she, and she would, it was worse for her and blah, blah, blah. And I thought, oh God, you know, every now and then you, you meet somebody, yeah. you know, I, 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 I get a little gooey. Do you, you feel like you've got to make it good? Yeah, you got, this yeah. has to be the best, the best voice yes. recording I ever did. Yes, yeah. Pooh I, has to say something super profound. Let me quote the Dalai Lama as Pooh. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, and and it re- and you realize that you know guys like us, we can't take ourselves too seriously. No, but you have to take the work seriously. Of course, you have. It's to. a technique, and, and it, you, you can't be laissez faire about it. It's got to. You, you've got to. You've got to go into the world that you're, whatever the world is that you're, that you're helping to create. Mm-hmm. Very often we don't have the sketches. We don't have the backgrounds in front of us. Mm-hmm. No, so, yeah. I mean, I just had a vague sense of what Brain looked like or, mm-hmm. you know, any of the characters on Futurama. It looked like, because you knew Tom Minton. Well, I didn't know Tom Minton. Oh, you but didn't? I just, oh, I, that's that, what I meant that, to say. That character sketch stayed in my head. Oh, yeah. And so, yeah. but I mean, I didn't know, you know, so you, I kind of draw the cartoon in my mind's eye and project it around the words on the script, and you know, mm-hmm. I, and that's you've got to go into that world. It's the it, it uses imagination almost. Well, I think the most of any of the acting, you know, whether yeah. stage or, or film. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. It, 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 it's a it's a it's a real technique, and while you don't have to, you don't have to be distracted by hair, lighting, makeup, costumes, you also don't have those things to help you along. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. a lot of actors like that, and, and yeah. uh, oh sure, it's it's yeah. uh, it's great, and you don't have to memorize either. You know, for the most part, that's my favorite part, yeah. not memorizing. Yeah, and then you know, in my case, I ad lib so much that it's like yeah, so you, I, I, the I, script is because you, you can't read. You yeah. know, I can't. <laughs> so I had to make something up, but yeah, it's it's my favorite thing. It's my favorite thing in the whole wide world. Yeah. And, and you know, I always say this is the kind of thing that used to get me kicked out of class. Abs- so, same here. You know, same here. The jokes on Sister Mary Agnes now has been for almost forty <laughs> yeah. years. Take that, yeah, Mr. <laughs> Bean was my vice principal in in oh, my uh, senior Mr. year. Mr. Bean, Mr. Bean, not a different Mr. No, he Bean. he funny. Yes, not not not. He, he had the the name of a British comedian's character. He had the face of Mr. Spacely from the Jetsons. He looked just like him. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, right down to the little, you know, kind of Hitler mustache. Oh, wow. And, uh, but Mr. Bean said, well, we gotta, we've got to let you go. Sorry, <laughs> you haven't attended enough classes. You spent oh, so much time down in the cafeteria holding court. And oh. listen, we walk by, we hear your jokes, we hear your impressions. You're very talented. You're really good. However. And we hope we get to come see you perform yeah. at, uh, at, you know, uh, at, the, the, at the time it was the, O'Keefe, it was the O'Keefe Center, mm-hmm. was the big theater in Toronto at the time. We hope we get to come down and see you or go to Las Vegas and see you perform. And th- I, have, I have been an opening act in Las mm-hmm. Vegas. Oh, and that's great. next March, March 30th, my birthday, I will actually be at the Roy Thompson Hall with Rob Paulson and Randy Rogel oh, yes. doing the Animaniacs live show. My hometown. Be there. Roy Thompson what Hall was that date is, again? is that March 30th, 2024, <laughs> my 66th birthday. And I will appear on stage in front of the Toronto Symphony Orchestra. What? Wow. Yeah, doing That's the music cool. of Animaniacs with Rob Paulson and Randy Rogel. I, uh, we, we will do a brain <sighs> song. There's a beautiful, there's a hilarious sketch. Yes. And I'll probably, you know, do a little extra patter in the middle. because I'm sure you time. will. Yeah. That's wonderful. That's pretty great. Yeah. Because yeah. I remember when the Roy Thompson phenomenal. Hall went up and it was this new acoustically perfect hall that yes. the Toronto Symphony Orchestra's new home. It and and isn't that the one where it's kind of like, uh, God, uh, the, the Disney theater where... It's called Frank Gehry. I don't think Frank Gehry had a hand in this one. But, oh, but, oh, okay. But it's very much in But you can hear a whisper though. in yeah, the t- balcony. Acoustically fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I love stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, really, I really do. Yeah. yeah. Good for you, man. Thanks, man. That's I great. I have to thank Rob Paulson and Randy Regal for that. Yeah. Are you going to do a drum solo? Uh, that's where that's where you come in, pal. Well, 
That worked out You're perfectly. Have your in your back pocket. <laughs> That's exactly what I was just going to say. Yeah. Oh that. wow, that's awesome, buddy. Yeah. Thanks, well, congratulations. Buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Shall we, listen, should we go back to work? We're, I think we got. We got. We got. I've got at least uh, a, a fan waiting <laughs> for me. <laughs> that's right. At the uh, at my table. <laughs> And uh, I should probably go put some smiles on some faces. Yeah, I agree. Well, yeah. well you've done it here, buddy. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you very much, Jimmy. Oh, man. Thanks for having me on the show. Not Orson Welles, no, but, but a, the but amazing. A brilliant, a brilliant imitation. <laughs> yes. All right. Maurice LaMarche, everybody. Right. You know him, you love him. Thanks, guys. Coming to a con near you. That was awesome. Or coming to a con near you. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs>